let me introduce uh, some tools uh, via the motivation of network monitoring. Uh, you know, uh, I always say that the data in transit, data over the network is more vulnerable, is the most vulnerable, and that is very easily detectable. And uh, how, how uh, that motivates us to monitor the network that using some data tools, using some network tools to get into the data, we can we can monitor what the traffic is going in or out from that specific from that specific uh, hardware and even that specific port. So uh, essential for network management that the router and the firewall, the policies, those has been implemented in the network monitoring is that being is that being useful? That that tools are not for any uh, any we can say security researchers for the hackers even that is useful for the network administrators that is useful for the monitoring that is used for uh, every system administrator uh, at the router configurator even the system engineers and other all the fellows those are those are working on the network even uh, students uh, those uh, wants to get the depth of how the networks works and how uh, each and uh, every packet transmit from one place to another place uh, from the source to the destination and uh, that is being monitored and that can be analyzed by using different type of network monitoring tools. So detecting uh, abnormal errors in the networks uh, and the access control for example, uh, Active Directory controller uh, that the system administrator has given the rights to any user uh, uh, that uh, and that has access of that specific folder. For example, that has access to a document folder, and uh, he want he got the access uh, somehow. He managed to got the access of some pictures folder also. Uh, the network tools can monitoring tools can help us can help us to get all the data, even that uh, monitoring tools uh, enable us to detect what are the, uh, what are the, uh, what are the uh, bad things happens into the network. And if we talk about the security management and uh, detecting normal traffic and traffic logging for forensic analysis, the, uh, these that is very important. The forensic analysis, you can say, uh, after incident, each and every packet has been monitored and checked for the data that what was the vulnerabilities that was used and even that come here, uh, even that comes here inside uh, the system and uh, how the intruder get into that, uh, that uh, get into our system. That is being monitored uh, using uh, traffic log and frenzy. If we talk uh, for the students, uh, I would like to have some uh, basics how how the network works, how a computer communicate from one end to the other end. That is the physical layer. That is the OSI model layer. Uh, that is the physical layer that connects data from one system, uh, one link to the other link that is ethernet that is the physical medium uh, and second one is data link uh, physical link is the hardware hard cable or something like this but the data link is the is the communication that is the set of rules communication protocols has been has been configured and uh, agreed upon that how communication will be happens that is what the protocol will be obeyed by both computers. And uh, after that, uh, there is IP address, that higher hierarchy and the upper layer, that is the network layer. The IP address has been assigned in the network, that is the specific addresses from one system to the other system. Communication is established between the networks 
and up on the network there is a transport layer transport layers transport the data from one system to the other system but but the final layer is the application layer how one application that layer communication done over the port uh, if we talk about the web application that's a web server uh, if one system is the web server and second is the client server web system communicate with the client system on uh, uh, port 80 and port double four three and we can configure web server and uh, but uh, and the web server and the communication servers and and the client server web server and the client server talks upon that port that has been designated by specific application that for example on our mobile we are using skype we are using XYZ application, we are using the third party application, multiple application on a single mobile and single mobile communicate over, over one IP address to the other mobiles and other servers. And the other servers, how they come to know that and the data has been arrived for uh, WhatsApp or data has been arrived for the email server or data has been arrived for that specific application we are using. Uh, so, that is the port that being communicated between application to the application. So whenever a network uh, communicate with one end to the other end, that we say is the network has been established. But when the application communicate with, with, uh, with the one system to an other system, that we say is that the communication has been developed and the application communicate the other application, Sacred's application. So uh, that is the basics of any network. That is OSI layer, TCP layer, we also say it. And uh, uh, the most important here, that network layer, that third layer of OSI model. And uh, uh, if we uh, talk about further, uh, you can get details from uh, uh, sources also, but uh, today our, our topic is network traffic analyzer. How we can analyze the traffic? Uh, what are the tools? These are uh, these tools can be used by any 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 professional for their work. That is the Wireshark, the top one I have. I have given it on the priority and that is the top one and we will discuss in this. I will show you the demo and how that works because Wireshark is widely used in uh, 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 for analyzing the traffic. And uh, another is SolarWind Network Performance Monitor that is, has the free trial and that's why that is uh, that has a uh, uh, Wireshark is free and uh, that is uh, SolarWind Network Performance Monitor. That is the free trial that is uh, um, uh, due to uh, its non, uh, non availability for as a free, where we, you know, uh, we didn't want to, uh, we got all the information from Wireshark. So uh, these tools are being used by specific organizations and uh, for specific purposes. And managing engine network tool with the ops manager that is also a tool and that is a free trial is available and Pestler and rptg uh, that is also available the splunk app for stream is very good tool and uh, omni peak and netspot and other tools are also available in the market and we can use them both all the tools works on the same the same uh, methodology uh, but the Wireshark is available. Uh, the Wireshark is available for uh, for Linux versions and for Windows versions also. So today I'm using the Windows uh, version. Uh, so uh, I will show you a GUI display over the Wireshark uh, and how Wireshark manage traffic. So what is Wireshark? 
packet sniffer, packet analyzer, open source, latest versions, at, and many, many tools inside Wireshark also. We have many things available uh, in the Wireshark. We have different features available in the Wireshark. And uh, uh, how these are the features? First is the filters. We are often not interested in all the packets falling through the network and, uh, and uh, use the filters to capture only packets for interest to us. For example, if I am a, a network administrator and uh, I, I just want to know that uh, which were the packets that was uh, disregarded by my router, so I will enter at the, at the filter bar that get all the packets Disregarded by filter, uh, disregarded by my router, and give the IP address of the router, and yeah, and we will uh, have a list of all the packets. That is very uh, perfect analyzing for that tool. Uh, and uh, if we talk about the uh, interface of Wireshark, its interface is like this. Uh, that has been shown on the mass on my screen. You can see uh, here is the uh, command menu uh, that has all the menu and other things available on the top two lines. And uh, after that, there is a display filter. We can enter uh, we can enter uh, whatever the filter we want to insert in in uh, around the packets to get the packets and the specifications of that packets and uh, listing of the capture packets and if we select someone some packet that will shows the detail of the selected packets uh, over there and, uh, and the, at the bottom if we want to see the content the most important thing if you want to see the content what the contents has been sent in that specific packet we can see it in hexadecimal and exit code uh, for the information security researchers, uh, they normally use uh, packets uh, that specific packets that are not encrypted by uh, any network. Uh, that application send the net naked packets uh, to the second application that are visible over here. Uh, and the data, if for example, if I am using HTTP request for sending my data from one system to the other system. If someone uh, sitting in, in the in central or uh, uh, doing a man in the middle attack, uh, a network attack, he can see what the data I have sent or what the username I has entered in, in my web browser. And that can be showed over here in the packet content. Uh, we will see that. Status bar, there is a status bar on the bottom, uh, identification ID as shown over here, two bytes, uh, and, uh, and uh, some capture options. Uh, if we get into the, uh, get into options of this uh, uh, wire shark, then we will see uh, uh, there, as we start the Wireshark software, and there, how there are many uh, interfaces. How much in interfaces they give us a list that there are five interfaces: a Wi-Fi, a USB, a Ethernet, or some other network. Inside that network, communication is is being done by uh, this network. Whenever we click on that specific. Uh, and that specific port, then we can get the data of that of that specific port, even USB, uh, if even USB port, we can get the data that what the data is being transmitted from that USB port. And uh, uh, a, a, a beautiful thing is, uh, one thing is pre-commerce mode is used to capture all traffic. That is the um, very, uh, very interesting thing. Some sometimes and um, sometimes uh, that doesn't work. If uh, somebody has 
uh, somebody has drivers not supported and uh, even the LAN switch has not the functionality to get into the precumous mode, then traffic will not be captured. Most of the students comes to uh, to me and says that sir, I've installed all the uh, all the uh, Wireshark along with all the dependencies, but um, I cannot uh, uh, got uh, the traffic. Uh, and um, I would say them that have your system enabled for precumous mode. That is the specific hardware that should be installed in your system. And 90% systems have the, that specific, uh, uh, advanced systems has that specific uh, type of uh, uh, hardware that can get into the precumous mode. That the listener mode, we say it in our language. And uh, uh, that I have shown you, in uh, capture interfaces like VM virtual machine adopter, and that is Pro 1000 PL network connection over the IP address. If I want to start, if I want to see this, then I will get into, uh, I will get into, uh, click on the start, then I will get into that specific network connection uh, that uh, has the IP of 10.1.11.17, and we, uh, we capture all the packets that are being transmitted by this uh, this port. Okay, and let if there are some display filters also available inside packet as stressor as I told you that IP address as I have uh, written over here IP address is equal to one nine two one six eight. 0.1, all the packets, show me all the packets that are coming or going from IP address of this. So for, for using this filter, we can find, we can use all, all uh, uh, we can use all, uh, we can use to find all the people, for example, I am focusing on a, some, uh, some vulnerable system that always uh, try to connect uh, uh, to other services, so that is under my observation. So I will put that system IP address over here and we'll get all the packets of that specific IP address. And uh, some example of the filters are IP source is equal equal to 10.1.10 and uh, along with subnet mask. And other uh, IP address and an IP address from this to this and the TCP port, the communication port, how that is the port that one application is communicating with the other application. So uh, application port can also be filtered over here. The, the data transmitted on the specific port is for, uh, for that application. And uh, uh, not include, not include the IP address to this and that, and other also things, uh, same. And uh, let's proceed further. Display filter expression. Uh, that is some something like uh, you can say uh, you can say if I type double double equal to, I can write over there EQ, and EQ mean and the, the, the uh, operators. These are the six comparison operators are being used for EQ, NE, GT, LT, and GE, LE. Uh, that is a bit advanced level. We, uh, first, we will get, uh, we will get a, a general go through. And if someone is interested, uh, that uh, can get the, that specific presentation from uh, uh, Sir, and uh, from the university and uh, use them. If we talk about the TCP segment structure, uh, that uh, TCP segment structure is of 32 bits that, that contains the source port and then the destination port and the sequence number of the picket and acknowledgement number, uh, header and uh, not used, some, some ports are being not used and some, and uh, and then 
uh, urgent data generally uh, not used that is also not used and uh, uh, push data now flag and uh, reset sync and finishing uh, finishing and receive window and urge data printer checksum that is used for uh, for in checking the integrity of the packet that packet is legitimate or not if the packet is being uh, packet is being changed and the checksum and the hash has been changed in that packet and uh, the uh, foreign system disregard if the checksum doesn't match uh, with the packet's data and that is used to check the authenticity of the packet and options that has the variable length and application data that is also has the variable the main data is being uh, placed over here along with all the other necessary things are there but the application and uh, what we can say the actual data is is application data as we see we have seen that uh, uh, as we have seen that uh, we have one uh, we have one GB connection, but the data trans uh, data transmit rate is uh, one to eight MB. Uh, and uh, uh, what the other what happens that other uh, resources where that goes where the bandwidth goes? We are just watching the application data. That is. Uh, that is inside all these packets and even sometimes that application data is is blank and but the connection packets are being transmitted so uh, that's why that is also a reason and uh, and we can save all the filter packets for further use for even uh, a for uh, uh, we can say presentation purposes also we can also save the filter packets in the text format and even in the pcap format that is being further used export we can export it and we can summary line on all the details using the options available in the packet in the wireshark and uh, uh, protocol if we talk about the protocol hierarchy we can find the protocol hierarchy uh, in the wireshark uh, we, we can find how one communication message packet stream uh, flow from one end to the other end, how one packet goes, the second one comes, third one goes, fourth, fifth, sixth, and all how the communication was going on. We can uh, use, uh, we can find them using follow TCP stream just clicking on the options. We will see it in the demo. And uh, some expert info is also available uh, inside that uh, Wireshark. If we talk about the Wireshark uh, official documentation, and that is also available on the Wireshark and, and documents uh, on the Wireshark website. And uh, we can find them over the Wireshark. And if we talk about how how to get into the Wireshark, we can see that is the Wireshark, the Wireshark.org. How we can get that Wireshark, uh, we just, I'm just showing you all the the website official website of Varsha download Varsha and we can download it if we have Windows 64 if we want a portable app and Mac for Mac and others source code is also available and old stable versions are also available over there. I have downloaded it uh, for you people for for the sake of uh, uh, saving the time. And so let's proceed towards uh, demo. We just click over here and we will got uh, on the bottom. You can see we will got the exe file for Wireshark. And uh, if uh, 
got installation of that Wireshark, then see this is the Wireshark, and uh, I have installed it. When I click over the Wireshark, and let's start it. Admin mode, yes, I am available for you. These will ask all, all, all the privileges for the admin. Here, you can see this. And you can see this and virtual ethernet default switch has been um, incorporated and uh, ethernet then the ethernet zero and adopter for loopback traffic capture there are four four types of interfaces that are connected to this machine so we can find we can see even all the networks are being all all the traffic is being uh, running over on all the ports. So I will choose anyone for finding for further our demo. For example, I proceed on the network Ethernet and see what is happening on. You can see the traffic on the UDP and traffic on the TCP and the communication because I am uh, over voice over IP, so that is being that use uh, UDP, and uh, you can see the UDP packets are more. And if we, if we, here are few options. Let's see. This is uh, the opportunity to uh, remind everybody that uh, you are with uh, Atlantic International University. Uh, those uh, live class sessions are held on a daily basis, actually twice in English and in Spanish. And uh, today we are with uh, Safakat Sidike, uh, who is making a presentation on the Kali Linux tools to uh, analyze network traffic. There seems to be an issue as we speak uh, right now, uh, uh, but it's um, been resolved. We have uh, Shafakat back. Sir, sir uh, my screen is available now for all? Yes, yes, I can see it. Oh, okay, sir. Sir, we can see um, there are the traffics, uh, traffic, uh, there are options over here. Uh, if we got got into uh, file and we see open merge and save and many other options as well, but I will uh, I will show you a few. I will I will cannot uh, cover all these options, but with the most important things we will uh, cover over here. That is uh, stopping stopping that Ethernet to capture the packets and uh, uh, and uh, up on clicking start that ask the previous packets are available do you want to save no i don't want to save continue without saving then again that will ask me for the uh, for administration administrator You can see the packets are are packets are going traveling 
as we are talking about, uh, let me uh, choose one packet and uh, uh, let's analyze it. Uh, if I stop it to, and I say this packet, and uh, uh, you can see that is the frame I have told you, and then the ethernet, then the internet protocols. On the right side, you can see uh, all, and, and that is, uh, that is uh, the, uh, the ASCII and hexabit data is available on my uh, right, corner uh, X, XZ and hexa. And uh, these are the protocols that, that has been used by communication. And you can see source code is 61241 and 8801. And if we talk about the data, then the data inside that uh, uh, has the length of 990 and, and what was the data that's, that was encrypted encrypted data with 0547 and something. So this data can be uh, decrypted. That is also another topic. But uh, these are the things how we can analyze the packet and how we can get the data inside that packet. Uh, you can see all the packets and data are available. So I want to stop it and I say that uh, I will apply some filter and I go on the top right corner and enter on the pre, pre plus button and filter button references and I will got another menu that, uh, uh, that will show me uh, how uh, I can add on these filters and appearance and columns and other other things, even forms of the colors and captures and and uh, protocols. If I want to find that some specific protocol, and uh, I will uh, filter it using that specific protocol using selection taking over here. And uh, let me show you uh, if I say. Uh, as I have said in my in my presentation, and uh, as I have said to you in my presentation, that uh, if we we want to uh, we want to find some specific filter, for example, I say that and uh, the IP address from the source uh, is equal to. Uh, how can we get get? From here, IP, you can see the list is there. We can enter, we can select our things, what the filter we want to, and we want to fit over here. For example, the IP address is equal to, uh, uh, IP address is equal to 192.168. If the color of the background is red, it means that this command is not okay or this command or this code whatever you have written in that specific that is not uh, readable by a uh, i have i have written over here the ip address and you can see uh, uh, you can see there is a list of ip address that ha has been uh, that has uh, either source or the destination address meant, uh, from 145. For example, uh, the first packet that is the source sending by 145 packet towards the destination towards 103. And just after that, 103 transmit back a packet to, towards 145 and destination was 145 that has been received by uh, 145. So uh, using this, we can uh, we can uh, filter all the other packets whatever we want to do and we whatever we want to analyze and uh, uh, this is the data that is being used and let let me show you some other options also uh, as i have told you over uh, clicking on the right click 
on that specific any one packet and uh, uh, i can mark it mark that packet I, I am in the middle of analyzing some information and i say that that is very important packet and i can mark it uh, ignore i if uh, some packet are uh, just for uh, uh, for uh, the sake of communication protocols negotiation so i will ignore that i can um, right click on this and ignore that packet and got all that specific packets that i want to use and time shift and and packet comments i i add i can add the comment for example if that is the heartbeat of uh, uh, of the protocol or that is that specific a packet that contains the HTTP password data, I can commit it for, and that is, has the password. So uh, that will be saved in the in my file. Uh, so I can uh, use it further. And if I apply the filter, selected all the packets that has been, I have used this, all the packets that has been, you can see now all the packets sending that the source that uh, here the filter also has been changed that the source from uh, 145 that the source from 145 to other destination uh, for uh, time now there is 143 143 103 103 and uh, let me get to another option so uh, uh, we can apply filter selected, not selected, and uh, we can also apply filter like and selected or selected and other other. These are as already I have told you. And uh, 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 some conversion filters are also available in Ethernet, IPv4, UDP. These are the packet file. These are the application filters as said we talk about the udp so the communication between uh, here you can see the filter uh, has been changed and you can see and that the ip address that equivalent to 145 and the ip address equivalent to uh, 2041.103 and udp port and the communication between ip address of 145 with the udp port uh, 61240 uh, and uh, the other UD port 8801. So from one end to the other end, communication has been, that is complete uh, uh, communication between one server to the other server over the UDP protocol. So using these packet uh, filtration and uh, uh, we can, uh, we can, detect what was the communication happening between them. And if we talk about uh, colorize, we can color them. Uh, UDP, we can color them. For example, I'm talking about the UDP, we can color them green. Uh, all the packets uh, will be green in case of that UDP. You can see. These are the green packets and that color has been almost the same. So uh, let me change it. So like this, you can see this now. And uh, if we talk about follow the stream of UDP that how one packet has been sent from one place to the other place, uh, then we will see this like that may not be uh, understandable or visible uh, uh, for the uh, common man because we are that the traffic was full encrypted, but uh, if the communication between both servers are in HTTP protocol or other in unencrypted, then we will find uh, like username is equal to this, and password is equal to this, and data is this, we will find, we can find it from here if 
encryption is not incorporated. And we can copy, as I have told you in the uh, slides, we can copy it. Uh, we can copy that save as text or save as a comma separated value or save as a YAML file or uh, as a filter, as a hexadiamond and all the things. We can uh, save the this uh, whatever we want. And uh, other options are in the in the references, protocol reference, these are the frames and ethernets and internet protocol versions, the most important for, uh, for uh, and nowadays, that is UDB ports that has been used and the data also. And uh, try and compress the compressed data. didn't find any anything specific that can be uh, presentable uh, uh, we can show we can view the packet let me show you uh, the packet uh, that data over here on the left side i have told you that is the hexa type that has the 42 to 122 data uh, data packet that has the length of 81 and uh, on the right side that is uh, X code like uh, uh, we can very easily convert the X into uh, into other format uh, and uh, this code is also readable. So this was uh, all about uh, uh, all about uh, the wire shark. And same other type, many options are available over there. Same other other tools are being used by uh, by the uh, network traffic analyzer uh, administrators, and monitoring uh, monitoring staff, and uh, uh, even uh, uh, configuration staff for getting the fruitful information. Uh, to of, of the network uh, that uh, has any uh, anything uh, that is going uh, that is going uh, unevenly they detected by the network using this